So this morning, I want to teach on walking in the miraculous. Behind every story is the glory, or behind every glory is a story. So sometimes you hear people's story, but you have to connect how the story brings out the glory that people are seeing. Can I say this? That there are things that God will do for you, that people will see your glory. And if they don't care to hear your story and they try to puncture the glory, the glory will consume them. The glory will defend you. Are you hearing what I am saying? There are things that you go through in life that becomes a pathway to it's your glory. God. My God. Anytime God wants to introduce you to the miraculous, he uses crisis. Oh, I'm going somewhere now. I'm going somewhere now. Crisis is the way of God's introducing you to the realm of the supernatural or the miraculous. You need crisis. You need problems. Let me say it again. So when, when you are asking God for the miraculous, for that realm, you are asking for trouble. Anytime because God wants to introduce you to a new dimension of power, then you need trouble because Satan's best blow is God's introduction of his almightiness let me say it again before he said let there be light there was first that so when we talk about the miraculous we're talking about God's intervention God's introduction you don't bring God to introduce himself when there are no problems for him to show off with are you hearing what i am saying so that is the reason why i know this month there's going to be a lot of exchanges of problems for solution oh i thought i'm talking to somebody this morning i thought i'm talking to somebody this morning they didn't know that there was a problem brewing while they were planning for the feast and jesus being god a man god represented in man jesus sitting there knew that something was going to happen you don't just invite him and something will not happen are you hearing what i'm saying his presence alone his presence there because even when they did not know him satan knew him are you hearing what i am saying satan always try to show off my god my god my god jesus being there is already a sign that something is about to happen so anytime satan is knocking at your door knocking at your finances knocking on your health knocking on your family it's a sign that god is about to do something new but the average believer that don't understand the ways of god the first thing they do is to pull away is to run away is to start crying start getting depressed anytime satan shows up it means there is a platform for god my god am i talking to somebody this morning so i dare satan anytime he shows up it means god is about to show up my god my god can i prophesy to somebody now for everywhere satan have been feasting cooking in your kitchen fighting your family you're going to see god in another dimension my God, for the thicker the darkness, the greater the light. My God, you're asking God to lift you to the next level. That is how it operates in the realm of the spirit. For every level, there is a devil. Am I talking to somebody? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that they have no wine. Wine symbolizes joy. Where your joy has run out. Wine symbolizes celebration. Before now, you used to be joyful. Before now, you had your dogs in a row you were constantly celebrating your life you were thanking God for everything God has done for you for your children but the Bible said there comes a time in every man's life when that wine will run out especially when God wants to push you to the next level he will allow the wine to run out because you are too comfortable at that level my God, God. Hey, you, da, 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 da. you are not a candidate for the miraculous until you run out 
<laughs> you must run out of yourself. You must you must get to your wit end. Hey, are you hearing what I am saying? Yeah.